A person is never defined by their illness. They're never defined by their diagnosis. You are who you are. Another common misconception I find is that people have a belief that working with older people in the psychiatric illness field is a sad area. And I would say no. I find that people, generally speaking, respond very well to input and re respond very well to treatment and recover and go back to being themselves and sometimes even doing better because now they're linked in with services and supports and parts of the community that they may not have been aware of or been a, in a position to access previously. So that would that would be my kind of, I suppose, parting point is that it, the illness does not define the person and older people recover exceptionally well from psychiatric illnesses and you can live a good life with dementia it doesn't define you i'm an old age psychiatrist um, and it's my experience that a lot of people don't know what we do and it is very important to understand that um you know uh, it is very daunting, very anxiety provoking for a lot of people once the GP suggests that you need to go and see a psychiatrist. Um, and the reality is actually quite different. And we get this feedback quite a lot uh, after the first assessment. It's very surprising for the patient how much time that a psychiatrist takes to do the first assessment because their job is to hear you and to listen to you and to empower you, to help you understand uh, what's been the difficulty. Uh, so people are actually quite relieved after they have spoken to a psychiatrist. Um, old age psychiatry is no different. Um, the people are worried often, am I going to be prescribed medications um, that is not going to suit me? But this is where the, you will find that the doctors are very open-minded, they will involve you in all discussions, they will, if they feel that uh, medication is necessary, they will bring you on board, you are free to ask questions at the end of the day, you're in charge of your recovery plan. Um, so really, um, I would very strongly advise that if um, someone feels that they are struggling emotionally, that they are far more anxious than they used to be um, and that it's holding them back uh, from living their lives fully that they should start with making an appointment with their own doctor and if the doctor advises um, after whatever assessment they have carried out the GP um, that they need to see a psychiatrist or uh, to see an old age psychiatrist you know do come along uh, you will not regret it um, at the end of the day, the purpose of a psychiatric assessment is to make, with the patient and their family, a clear plan uh, that empowers the patient to live better. And it may or may not involve medication, uh, but what it does do is, is it signposts you, it signposts the patient, enables the patients to find the right services for them. Um, and sometimes those services and those skills exist within the psychiatry teams. So uh, if somebody is very stuck in a rut and they really don't know where to begin to kind of have that kind of social rehabilitation, um, the occupational therapist comes into play. If somebody is, it feels that they need a lot of help in understanding, you know, even the process of accessing the benefits that, that they're eligible for. Um, you know, issues like housing, uh, just issues, uh, you know, ongoing difficulties uh, where they may be being intimidated by, you know, sometimes their own loved ones, uh, family members or friends, that there is social worker there. Sometimes for maybe more complex social and psychological issues, uh, there is a psychological, uh, there's a psychologist that can offer psychotherapy. Um, so you have, depending on your own needs, a care plan, um, you are in charge of your recovery plan, and um, you know, you're, you're enabled to actually live a fuller life. That's the purpose of psychiatric intervention, really.